On Thursday, August 8th, a preliminary hearing was held in Floyd Circuit Court for 41-year-old Michael Colley of McDowell, who has been charged with the murder of 53-year-old Patrick Shepard. Testimony from investigators states he allegedly beat Shepard with a blunt object that resulted in a one-inch indentation in the back of his skull and then attempted to hide the body. Floyd County Commonwealth Attorney Brent Turner tells us what comes next for Colley. We became aware of the case when the investigating officer contacted us uh, shortly after it occurred. Uh, we've remained in contact with them, uh, providing any assistance that they've needed. Uh, at this point, procedurally, what occurred was there was a preliminary hearing in district court where the judges found that there was sufficient evidence to send the case on to the grand jury. And then what will happen next is uh, we will start gathering the evidence and, and setting up a time with the officer uh, in anticipation of presenting the case to a grand jury within the next um, certainly under 60 days because that's as long as he can be held on the charge without an indictment. So we would expect to present the case in the next month or so. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Over the course of the arraignment and preliminary hearing, Colley was charged with six counts of contempt of court for his obscene outbursts. Those charges carry an additional 180 days each, totaling almost three years of additional consecutive jail time. As far as what our office does is the same thing we do in any kind of homicide cases. Uh, we usually contact uh, or receive contact from the investigating agency and we just try to provide assistance to them as far as the investigation and things we think that we'll need. And uh, we did that in this case like we have in any other homicide investigation. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.